Hi everybody, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with Jaspie's 15 box all-star game mixer. We got the all-star game just about to start right now. First pitch just about to happen. So big thanks to everybody who got into this all-star game mixer. Now we got a couple special things that we're going to that you're going to start seeing more of in the future. There's an early bird promo if you are one of the first 15 spots purchasing this break, you'll be in a randomizer to win another spot. Look at that. And we've got some hit list protection for you. If you do not get an autograph in this break, you'll get $10 of break credit. So if you bought four teams, and if you're unlucky enough to get <laughs> to have no autographs in all four of those teams, that's $40 of break credit. 10, 10, 10, and 10. $40 of break credit that will be emailed to you uh, at some point later tonight or by the latest tomorrow. Um, I think that's it. There's all the boxes here. Looks like a pretty good mixer. It's a good looking mixer, ladies and gentlemen. So thanks to, there's the team list right here. Let's go to the spot list right here. Thanks to all these folks for getting their spots straight up. And someone, if my mouse wants to work. There you go. So there are the 29 spots right here and then the early bird winner right there. The early bird gets the worm, or in this case, the free spot. So those are the first 15. Let's copy those names, put them into this list right here. And let's randomize that. Good luck, everybody. Let's randomize that four times. One and a three. One, two, three, and a one. Fourth and final time. Congrats to David Duffy. After four times, David, you get a bonus spot. And we'll put the, the usual symbol next to your name so you know you got that from... Uh, a randomizer. There you go. Nice. Congrats. All right. Now we can take everyone's names again. This time we have 30 for all the teams. Put them in here. And all the teams are right here. Let's roll the dice and let's randomize each list eight times. Six and a two. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. Gilo saying, how's it going, Gilo? Ball, baseballs are juiced? They're not juiced. Steve Freeze down to Roy. They are just manufactured with less imperfections, which allows them to, uh, to carry. Less drag coefficient. Eight times for, and the stitching is lower. But still within the the regulations of what Major League Baseball says. Verlander's just pissed because he's given up a lot of home runs this year. Four. Where's four? Come on, Ram.org. There it is. Four, five, six, seven, and I said eight, right? Eight. One more time. Eighth and final time. There's a... Uh, there's a professor who writes for The Athletic who has been studying baseballs for like the last few years. And so there's just less imperfections in baseballs. The leather is a little bit smoother and uh, the stitching is lower. Chris Freeze with the Tigers, Matthew Hedges with the A's. I guess that's juiced if you want to consider it juiced. David Duffy with the Cubs, John with the Phillies, Emma with my Dodgers, Rogelio with the Mets, Levi with the Pirates, Richard Z with the Diamondbacks, Joe Ivers with the Twins, Dennis Jenkins with the Yankees, Big Boys 007 with the Rays, Joseph with the Indians, Scott with the Reds, Stephen Surrey with the Rockies, Johnny V with the Angels, Brian with the Rangers, Chris with the Royals, Ryan with the Marlins, Chris with the Braves, Randall with the Brewers, Kale, you got the Red Sox, uh, Mark with the Astros, David Bruins with the Mariners, uh, David Duffy with the Nationals, Eric Coyle with the Blue Jays, Joey Fisher with the Padres, Giants for Jordan Cohen, Mark Matson, you got the O's, Chris with the Cardinals, and Roy with the Chicago White Sox. Let's sort by team right here. Chris Freeze has the Tigers up for trade. ASMR, what's going on? I did not see. Did that just happen? The Mike Trout commercial. I was in the middle of this randomizer. 
Phillies are up for trade. Says John G. Baseballs are definitely different, though. I guess, I, I guess juiced. What does that mean? That that to me means that there there is some like shadiness happening. You know what I mean? But I think this is very intentional. But not, but like within the rules of what there's a, the baseball rules is really weird. If you ever look that up. Like the size of the baseball and all the different regulations of the baseball, there's like a range. So it doesn't have to be exactly one size. They could all be marginally different, which could be enough to. And especially with the way baseball players are hitting these days, you know, so they'll have uh, just more launch angle. There's more guys not putting balls in play. They just want to hit home runs. So you combine all of that together. Yeah, you get you get a big boost in home runs. All right. Looks like there's a lot of trade offers, but. Not a late, not a lot of trade chatter. We got Miami up for trade. Tigers for Phillies, maybe. Big boys 007, maybe Rays. What's going on, Dave? Raise for someone. Now keep in mind the different years that are in here. Right? We got 2019. We got 18. We got 19 finest. 18. 18, 18, 19, 17, 18, 19, 19. A box of 2016. Box of uh, 2019. couple 19s down there as well. So keep that in mind before you trade. Maybe we should just go. We'll give it a few more moments. I know there's a lot of trade offers right there. Maybe people are still digesting that trade offer, seeing what they can or cannot get. All right, maybe not. Okay, TWC, trade window closed. Let's print, let's rip. Good luck, everybody. No paper. Unbelievable. Sorry about that, you guys. There we go. We got it. Yes, Mr. Cohen, you do have the Giants. Oppo Joe Mojo in full effect. All right, there you go. 15 box, all-star. Perfect timing because first pitch about to happen. I think first pitch did happen. Three pitches have happened. 
Now, I don't know. Who does everyone have in this game? I put a little, uh, a little coffee money on uh, the National League at plus 107 to beat the AL. So slight road dogs. All right, what should we, should we, should we go old first? Let's go back in time. Let's go to 2016, Panini Donner's Optic. There you go. 2016, Donruss. Levi, you're going to go AL? What does everyone else think? I should I forgot to put up a Twitter poll. I should have put up a Twitter poll earlier today. At Jaspies Breaks, our Twitter. Look out for future polls. Some people have suggested the the under would be something to go with. That most that the last ten All Star games were uh, have actually gone under. I think last year went over by a lot, but generally, I, I, I guess in recent times they've gone under. I will check out the Trout commercial. Best thing MLB has done to mark its players in years. In years, huh? All right, all right. I'll check it out. Mike Trout finally doing commercials. Eric Coyle thinks that you just hope both teams have fun. Fun. Oh, I want the NL to destroy the AL. Back in the, back in the day, this game was actually was actually pretty competitive. I do like when they're mic'd up. They, sh they should mic up ballplayers more often just in regular season games. All right, box one of 15. Good luck, everybody. Kale says AL for sure. Jorge Polanco with a walk-off. There's Trace Thompson, Clay's brother. All right, it's a nice autograph. Dodgers edition. Going to Emma with the Dodgers. Greg Bird. 149. And we got significant signatures. Gaylord Perry. Nice. That's Giants edition. Goes to Jordan Cohen. Jay Cohen with that one. We'll we'll top load and sleeve all of those uh, all those numbered cards, like this Lucas Giolito, Nationals edition, before they get sorted and shipped out. Just in the interest of time, we're gonna breeze by those. You Darvish to one forty nine. Still Rangers edition. Remember, this is 2016. I like some of your movies. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, you know what? I feel like we're bonded. Yeah. And supporting staff. And Brian Dozier in the bat. Two friendships. Two friendships. Paul Rush. Close enough. Pull up a chair. All right. What? 2017 next? Gold label baseball? I want to save that till later. What about anything else older? No, they're all seven. They're all 18 or 19. Nice. All right. So I guess we'll just. Let's get the base heavy stuff out of the way first then, like the series two right here. Isn't Jorge Polanco Kale starting the game? 
If he's starting the game, I don't think he'll be able in a position to walk it off. But if he's not starting, that could be interesting. What about uh What about MVP? That's always a tough one because these players play so few innings. It's hard to it's kinda random. The all-star game MVP. Mr. Mike Daddy saying uh, everyone going out on a limb by picking the AL. He's going to have to go NL. Uh, if he's starting, he may not make it to the end of the game. So we're probably going to go this left side first, right? So get the base heavier stuff out of the way. Donner's Baseball, Prism, Gypsy Queen, the Series 2 right here. Then we'll work in, work through the Finest and the Bowman Chrome or the Topps Chrome, Bowman Chrome, whatever that is. Then we'll do these ones like the Inceptions and the Five Star and the Gold Label. We'll do the two museum collections down here. And then we'll close out with the Gold Rush Autograph Baseball. It's kind of the rough schedule of the boxes that we'll be going through. Chris Archer. Henjin Ryu, come on Henjin. Yeah, Hyunjin Roos starting for the NL. He just gave up a uh, single. There's Sean Newcomb to 2018, 2019, that is. He's Garrett Cole. There's Ryan Sandberg. Piece of his lumber for the Cubbies that goes to David Duffy. Had a one fifty on that one. You don't have the All Star game on, Chris? I'm sure there'll be a lot of ch pitching changes and and whatnot. It'll, I'm sure it'll go for a little bit. That's where the All Star Game is, right there, Cleveland. It's Carl Edwards Jr. to 67 for the Cubs. Has, has Mike Trout, Jason Jasper was asking me this question earlier today, and I th has Mike Trout been an all-star his entire career from rookie year on? I think so, right? It's Mike Montgomery. Ooh. Got him. Yeah, Levi says eighth one. 
So he didn't get one his rookie season, Eric Coyle saying? Oh, almost missed this one. Steven Matz for the Mets. Nice. And that mid-80s design. That goes to Rogelio, who got randomized the Metropolitans. Yeah, his first year I don't think is considered his rookie year. I don't think he hit the rookie limit. I think the next year is his rookie year, right? Because I think he was only up for a cup of coffee in his first year, so no all-star there. So yes, in baseball terms, he's made it every year. Got it, okay. There you go, Hyunjin Ryu goes through, gets the three outs, just one hit. It's 2019. And we've got Hyunjin Ryu's teammate, Clayton Kershaw. Nice, cool MLB medallion for Emma and my Dodgers. Is there a scenario, I mean, Mike Trout's going to get an all-star every year, right, of his career, short of an injury-shortened season early in the season, right? Even even then, I feel like he just has enough clout where he'll just get an all-star every year for the rest of his career. <laughs> Yeah, Pete Alonzo seemed like a good, Mr. Mike's daddy, Chris, saying Alonzo, nothing but class last night. He seemed like a good dude. I don't think I really know much about him outside of what I've seen him do on the field. So, yeah, when he won, won the home run derby, which I think Jock Peterson should have won, but what are you going to do? You think Trout, Eric Coyle saying Trout will retire and people still vote for him. All right, let's just, just go with this one. It's right on top. 2019 Donruss Baseball. What are we looking for here? Three autographs or memorabilia cards per box on average. go no no bias at all what are you talking about mr mike he was he was robbed he should have had that home run number 30 over vlad guerrero jr i think i think major league baseball wanted vlad guerrero jr to win the home run derby they want they wanted that hype machine going oh verlander already out of the game Masahiro Tanaka facing Bellinger. Is this a World Series matchup right here?
All-Star game will be in Los Angeles next year, ladies and gentlemen. Dodge Stadium. I'm very excited about that. How much, um, how much are, uh, does anyone know how much home run derby tickets are? That's yard. Oh. I thought that was gone. It sounded good off the bat. Kale says twins are going to get over their Yankee slump. Twins are looking great this year. So are the twins for real? I want to see them add a little starting pitching at the end of the month. That's it for Bellinger. All right. Good luck, everyone. There is Brandon Crawford. That is to 150. Mookie Betts to 346. Nelson Cruz to 500. There's Anthony Rizzo to 999. You know, back in the 90s, there's Justin Verlander being interviewed about the, the juiced baseballs. Back in the, like, 1940s, they used to be just lumpy leather masses. Did pitchers complain when that got changed? I mean, things change. Justin Verlander. Basically, you just have to adjust, you know? Why not complain about that's uh, Diamond Kings to 103, by the way. 13 out of 103. Did we complain when bat technology got better? What about that? How come Justin Verland is not talking about how, how bats are better? There's Ozzy Albies, Majestic Materials. That's for the not number, that's for the Braves. Or you can scientifically prove that there's less drag on the base. Do I think this is too much? I mean Did we say it's did we say it's too much when Ricky Henderson was stealing a hundred bases a season? Do we have to make the base pass longer? In the early eighties when those guys Tim Raines and Ricky Henderson and Vince Coleman, guys like that, stealing 90, 100 bases a year. Did we say, we got to lengthen those base paths? We got to make them 95 feet. Isn't this ridiculous? Mike Trout to 349. I think that's just kind of the era that we're in. A lot of guys aren't putting balls in play, they're just going for home runs. Baseball manufacturing, you know has gotten better. Yeah, so the leather's smoother, the stitches are lower, home runs are up. Nice Aaron Judge autograph. That is 95 out of 99. So that goes to Dennis Jenkins and the Yankees. There's Harrison Bader, he's 25. No doubt the baseballs are different. Even 
But allegedly, it's still within the... People have done studies on this. Allegedly, it's still still within the rules of baseball manufacturing, so maybe they should just change those rules. To limit home runs. But I don't know if those rules are going to change. I wonder if those are collectively bargained. You know, the owners are probably going to be like, we don't want more home runs. We want more balls in play, more excitement. People come out to the stadium more often. And then the players are like, we want dingers. We want to get those big contracts for hitting those home runs. Rated prospect relic, 82 out of 99. Marco Luciano for the Giants. That goes to Jay and the Giants. Oppo Joe Mojo. I don't mind it. I th I think uh, <laughs> I think uh, that's to 150. I think Justin Verlander is salty because he's already given up like a league leading 26 home runs or something like that. To 888. He was reading the MLB admitted to modify. Yeah, Manfred essentially said that they were they the ball is different. But they won't say how. Well, Pete, like I said, there's a, a series of articles in The Athletic by Dr. Meredith something who's been who's been studying these, these baseballs. And she was on the Baseball Tonight podcast a week or so ago. And she was saying that the, the balls are, are more consistently shaped. They're better shaped. So they're more spherical than they used to be. The leather is smoother, so there's less drag on the baseball, and the stitching is definitely lower, which also reduces drag. So that's exactly how, that's exactly why, and, and just add to the fact that there are more players gunning for home runs and all that sort of stuff, and that adds to home runs, more home runs than we've seen in the past, and longer home runs than we've seen in the past. So I don't think there's a big secret. That's exactly what's happening. So I guess, are you? Are we saying that raise the stitching, just take the ball back to the way it was a couple of years ago? I don't like the health aspect. That the health. I, I think when it's, I don't. I wouldn't mind if it weren't for the fact that because of the stitching, more play, more pitchers than usual. Pitchers who usually don't get blisters on their fingers, right? When their fingers are across the stitching, they are now getting blisters. So now that becomes a player safety issue. Otherwise, I wouldn't care. As long as it's within the regulations of whatever it's supposed to be. But Verlander was saying, hey, I'm getting more blisters than I used to get. You know? So in that respect, I'm just like, yeah, you better. They should change it back if pitchers are getting blisters because of it when they when they didn't get before. Otherwise, I wouldn't care. Guess what? Baseballs were different in the 1910s, the 1920s, the 1930s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s. There's Brian McCann for the Braves. That'll be for Chris Parent. So I feel like that's just an evolution of the game as manufacturing evolves and changes and different materials are being used over the years. You know, but player safety wise, just bring it back. You know, otherwise you're gonna have top pitchers like Verlander on the IL because these stupid baseballs are giving him blisters when he normally wouldn't get blisters. There's Javier Guerra, six out of seventy-five, rookie autograph. For the Padres, that'll be for Joey Fisher. You might be right about Verlander being solid, but at the same time, Rex is saying maybe others feel it but are afraid to come out and complain. <laughs> Think ball players are afraid to complain? Like Major League Baseball, what are the, what's Major League Baseball going to do to them? Fine them? Twenty-one out of fifty, Felix Hernandez. I guess they could find him. Rich Hill said the same thing a year or two ago in the World Series. He said the World Series balls are more slick. They're different. There's too low Yankees edition. Yeah. 
So Rich Hill is probably stated in very high profile game. Baseballs are a little more slick. So these will still ship. I mean, obviously it's a rookie, it'll still ship, but these parallels are not numbered, but they will ship. Corey Kluber will definitely ship to 399. Ryan says no. No on what? <laughs> Are people ragging on Verlander for what he said? I don't think he's anything controversial. That's to 150, Josh James. I mean, but I think he said what everyone kind of knew. There's Miles Straw, rookie autograph. Oh, other pitchers may not want the same slack and publicity. I get it. I mean, I don't know. Hyunjin Ru hasn't given up a lot of home runs. A lot of other pitchers seem to be okay. Ooh. Oh, that's right against the warning track. I mean, he is being a little salty, though, isn't he? <laughs> I mean, I would be, too. If... If I didn't give up a lot of home runs one year, and I usually don't, and then all of a sudden I'm giving up a bunch of home runs, of course I'm going to complain about the different baseball. I mean, Max Scherzer came out. There's, there he is, Verlander. Max Scherzer came out and said, yeah, they're different, but you got to deal with it. There's Juan Soto, gold. Nice. Five out of ten. That's for David Duffy and the Nationals. He won the Nationals as part of the early bird special. Won that spot in the early bird special that we had today. I'm going to drop my pack of top loaders here. Hang on. So let me get some more. Max Scherzer seems like he's fine, though. If Max Scherzer came out and complained about it, I think that would carry a little more weight. But... Yeah. Verlander is salty. Let's just admit that. I don't... I, I, I don't know if I buy the narrative of Verlander standing up for all the pitchers of Major League Baseball. You know, too scared to complain about the baseball. All right, next one. All right. Oh, we got Kershaw on the mound now. Oh, I see what Dave Roberts is doing. Dave Roberts is like, hey, get my guys in and then out of the game ASAP. Dennis, what's going on? <laughs> Direct saying, well, first Jay Cohen was saying, Furlander has no right to complain after he married Kate Upton. Can't, can't be salty about anything. Gypsy Queen coming up next, and we'll do that right afterwards. Kate Upton has pretty big assets, says Rex. Yeah, a lot, lot, lot of, lot of financial assets. She makes a lot of money modeling and being in movies and whatnot. That's right, Rex. Yeah, 
yeah, Mr. Mike Daddy. The rest was just talking about money. I don't know where your head's at. Man, it's 2019, man. Ryan, I have no idea what you're talking about. But, welcome. He can retire and now and still. If still exist. I don't know what that is, but <laughs> you gotta be more specific if you wanna join the conversation, man. Gilo saying, Kamish wants more offense, acknowledges a change in baseball. I believe it. That's what he did say. He said there is a change in the baseball. <laughs> But he's saying he, he didn't mandate it, though. But even if he did mandate it, it's I, the baseball, if you measure it, apparently is still within the, the range of a bit, size of a baseball and all the regulations. So is it still illegal? Yeah, Dennis, we got a Gaylord Perry autograph. We got that Juan Soto gold to 10. We got an Aaron Judge auto. We got all sorts of good things in this mixer so far. All right, Gypsy Queen time. This is the Gypsy Queen box. I don't know. I don't know what's in this Gypsy Queen. All right, good. two autographs? I mean, and I was mentioning earlier, Gila, that, yeah, the dynamics of the ball are different, but it's still within the rules, so do we have to, should we add rules to regulate the dynamics of the baseball, too? Xander Bogarts, black-white. But yeah, the, 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 the study that was in The Athletic, um, the, the, that's, the dynamics of the ball is different. It's within the rules and regulations of MLB and the size of a regulation baseball. But yeah, it's, but it's clear and studies have shown, scientific studies have shown, have proven that the ball is, stitching is lower, ball is more spherical, it's, it's, it's manufactured better. There's less imperfections in the baseball with a smoother leather. All that results in less drag. Balls pop out of the stadium. 22 out of 50. Kyle Tucker, Astros. Mark Matson with that one. So I don't know. I guess I guess the argument now is well, is that there's Danny Jansen for the Blue Jays. Eric Coyle with that one. There you go, Coyle. The question is, is that yeah, is it juice for the hobby or not? Is it is that is this good or bad? If it's if it's artificial, if it's artificially juiced but still within the regulations of sizes, what are you gonna do? Is it 100% a fact that it's by the rules? Is there a possibility there's a cover up in the MLB of paying people to lie? Easter eggs. <laughs> Not everything's a movie. I mean, they, you have, you can get, go to the ballpark and get a regulation baseball and you can measure it. And then you go to the rule book and then there's the rules. And that's how they measured it.
Now, listen, baseball could be like, hey, let's make the manufacturing even better on baseballs. Right? Wink, wink. Because they know that that will result in a smoother, perfectly sphere baseball that will, in this climate of how hitters are hitting, is going to do it. You know? Yeah. Well, I mean, they've done those studies too, Rex. The Athletic and I think a couple other publications. I think... Who else? Who else did it? Another baseball blog or something like that did it too, where they where they bought baseballs, they cut them open, they did all that sort of stuff, and there's nothing nefarious happening. <laughs> but there are changes in the baseball though. This looks like a little different. It's gold. Brandon Crawford, three out of fifty. All right, what do we got here? I don't think MLB MLB's not taking uh, taking bribes from people. Not yet, anyway. Gilo. I wouldn't compare them to FIFA. FIFA is pretty corrupt. Baseball is pretty tame by FIFA comparisons. <laughs> Roy says we need a we need a regulator to regulate the regulations to regulate the regulators regulating the regulations. All right, now so Jay's asking, are the players juicing again? See, that's a good question. So I wonder, Jay. Now we're in speculation, Bill. Right? Now I wonder if if Major League Baseball is suggest is saying, hey. Is, is, you know, commanding the company they own, Rawlings, to improve and perfect baseball manufacturing within the regulations that are in the MLB bylaws, the rules, right? And I wonder if they're saying that because they know what kind of effect it would produce in this climate where there are more home runs, thus encouraging ball players not to juice. Don't worry. <laughs> you don't have to juice Nick Senzel. Right? There he is, for example. You know, because baseballs are going to fly out of the park anyway. Now, that's, that's a crazy theory, but I can see that happening. That's, that way, that way, MLB has plausible deniability. It's like, well, the ball is within regulation. Not my fault. There's more balls going out of the park. Well, uh, Coyle, what what is your opinion? There's Alec Hansen to six fifty five, sixty eight out of six fifty five. Rex was saying, I look at Vlad Jr. and I swear the way he swings, he's going to rip a knee, <laughs> shoulder, something. Ooh, redemption. Yeah, it's a very violent swing. It's out of 99. So, did you see Bellinger swing? Bellinger's got a, got a really violent swing that rips through the strike zone. There's Kyle Cody for the Rangers. That'll be for Brian. Coyle's saying, I think we, we look at the history of baseball and we see the amount of home runs being hit, and the first thought is something isn't right. Well, why can't we just admit that these players are more 
dedicated to the end of the day. Well, that's what well, I mean. That that's the optimistic view, and I, I believe that too. That so much has changed in the way you train for baseball, all the technology you can use to perfect your swing. I think you take all of that plus the baseball, and then you get a, a season like this. Record number of home runs. On, on, on pace to smash the record for home runs by like a thousand home runs or something like that. Congrats, you are due to receive a Chrome Auto Relic Orange Parallel. That's out of 25, usually, of Francisco Mejia. Nice. Wait, what year is this? 2018? Is he an Indian in 2018, Bowman Chrome? To the checklist. But yeah, I th I th you know, I think it's a combination of a lot of things. A lot of the, the times they are, it changes. 2018 Bowman Chrome Baseball. Group break checklist, view checklist. Francisco Mejia is an Indian in this set. So that goes to Cleveland. That'll be for Joseph and Dreesen. There you go, Cleveland, with that one. But I don't know, watch. We talk about this now, right? We are on pace to blah, blah, blah. Let's stick with 2018 finest. Um, we're on pace to blah, blah, blah. But <laughs> what, if, what if just the second half of the season, everything just normalizes? You know, those on pay stats are always tricky, right? First month of the season, oh, this guy has, you know, Trevor Story hit 13 home runs in his first 10 games. He's on pace for 100 home runs this season. Doesn't mean it's going to happen. You think it's going to get, I mean, probably will. Weather gets warmer and the balls are going to start to fly out even more. I wonder if, is, can, is there a way to, someone can look up, uh, I don't I actually don't know where I can find this number. Are wild pitches up? Are pass balls up? Because if the stitching is lower, right, maybe, maybe you can't grip the ball as well if you're, say, if your hand is sweaty, if, you know, you can't grip the ball as well. I mean, there's got to be. Let's. I mean, there's got to be a way to look at spin rates, right? Has spin have spin rates been different because of the stitching is different? So, Ver, like we were talking about earlier, Verlander getting more blisters than before, right? Is his spin rate changing too? I think Fangraphs should have spin rate info. I don't know where you would get league wide wild pitch info. Maybe Fangrass as well. All right, 2018 Tops Finest Baseball. Always love, there he is, see? He's following us. She's like, Joe, I heard you talking about me. Alex Verdugo, rookie Verdugo, that'll ship. And there's our first autograph, Christian Arroyo, 68 out of 150. That'll be for the Giants. Oppo Joe Mojo for Jay Cohen. There you go, Jay. I feel like Giants had a few hits. There you go. Nice, nice. Twenty-two out of two fifty. Tim Beckham. And there's Miguel Cabrera to 50, 11 out of 50.
And we got Tyler Maley, rookie auto for the Reds. Scott V with the Red Legs. You know, owners for baseball teams are always welcome to pull the fences back, and make the walls higher. Verlander could pitch that to the Astros organization. Let's make the walls higher. Two thousand nineteen finest now. So there I mean there's a lot of things that are involved. It's not just the baseballs. Yeah, Jay's like, yeah, exactly. Some of these ballparks are a joke, yeah. Some band boxes out there. Ooh, DeGrom and Trout. Ooh, Trout pops it up. All right, good luck. I know, he just got under that one, right, Jay? I was watching it, too. It was a nice pitch, and it was a good hack. But he... All right, next one. Wait, do the Yankees really have the smallest park? g -Lo's like Yankees hogging all the power hitters in the smallest park. There's Jake Bowers, Rays edition. That goes to Big Boys 007 with the Rays. We'll try to trade, couldn't trade Mojo. Good luck, everybody. Four hours There's Reese Hoskins to 250. I guess when it comes down, I was thinking about that. I guess when it comes down to it, I guess my objection is semantics. It's really just like I. I guess I don't think the word juice is the right vocabulary to use, I think. Because juice implies like, you know, MLB has tried to nefariously do something. There's Luis Urias, which I don't think they have. I think they're within the regulations and just happens to help them <laughs> to 99. But the ball is different. 66 out of 99, Luis Urias. We can put all the balls in humidifiers if we want to. Just like uh, Arizona used to do that. You know, I think Rockies used to do, Rockies, I think Rockies still do that, right? They still put their baseballs in humidifiers. Uh, let's go gold label. There's ways around it. You know, if don't like the way the baseballs are being manufactured, pull outfield walls back. Make the outfield wall higher. Put all the baseballs in humidifiers. I guarantee you all the hitters on that team, on Verlander's team, would be like, no way, bro. Oh, that's the frame right there. Batters have hit, Jay Cohen saying, batters have hit 3,691 home runs in 1,345 games on pace for 6,668 over the full season, a 19% increase over last year's 5,558, and 9% over the record, 6,100 hit in 2017, which is also when the baseballs were allegedly, or the players felt that they were different too. It's Trevor Story. To 150, Koufax to 50. Now Wrigley's got to be tiny too, Gilo. Fenway's the smallest, but I think Yankee Stadium is next. There's Alex Reyes to 50, 48 out of 50. It's incredible so 
And there's Dan Vogelbach, a home run hitter. For the Seattle Mariners, that goes to the M's. That'll be for David Brune. Joe Fisher, what's up? He's saying, I want the Twins to beat the Yankees' home run record in that little field they call a ballpark. I didn't realize the Yankee Stadium was, or new Yankee Stadium was that small. I didn't realize that. All right, let's go Inception. So we'll go a couple Inceptions. We'll go a couple Museum Collections. We'll go Five Star. We'll go Autograph Baseball. Quick game of Who Am I? Let's do the older one first. There's 2018. That's right, Gilo. Vogelbach is the Mariners' defensive end. All right, behind Ryan McMahon is, looks like a patch auto. Nice Jack Flaherty. Rookie, jersey, and autograph six out of 40. For the Redbirds, that's going to go to Chris D. Last spot mojo. Bought that last spot straight up. Nice. Yeah, we're getting pretty close to the end of this break, ladies and gentlemen. And I see one, two, three, four, five, about seven orders coming in. Let's get some more going. Let's try to let's try to give away some money tonight. If you look on the website, jazbeescasebreaks.com, and you click the, the bag of money that's on the site right now, it'll lead you to the details about tonight's break credit promo. Where the, where's the hit here? Oh, there it is. And those jerseys, as Adam is pointing out, is part of the promo. The autograph is Sean Manea for the Oakland A's, 35 out of 200. That'll be for Matthew Hedges in the A's. All right, let's go into some 2018 museum collection. Right, see, that's the, I think that's where everyone's seeing the conspiracy theories, where Clark and Verlander have questioned whether Emily has more input into the ball since Rawlings, the baseball manufacturer, was purchased by Seedler Equity Partners. And Peter Seedler, the San Diego Padres general partner, has chief oversight of all activities of Seedler Equity Partners. And will be also acquired a minority stake in Rawlings as part of the purchase as well. But... People have cut open baseballs. People have measured all the baseballs. They're still within regulation. So that's where I feel like that whole conspiracy idea kind of falls apart a little bit. Next time, next time anyone grabs a foul ball, send it to Jaspies. We'll do our own scientific study. We'll chop open baseballs. We'll do we'll do a multi-year study. We'll chop open baseballs from this year. Anyone who gets a foul ball next year, we'll chop those baseballs open. We'll figure it out. We'll get to the bottom of this. Once we're done with the study, sure, I'll sign it and send it back, Jay. Once we're done with our, our scientific study. All right, good luck, everybody. Bo Jackson to 150.
Clayton Kershaw to 99. And Adam Jones back here and the hits. All right, we've got Kevin Kymir. I think I've always been saying Crimear, putting the R before the I and the E. That's not correct, obviously. 58 out of 48 out of 50. That goes to Big Boys 007 in the Rays. David Ortiz, and there's dual relic and autograph Eddie Rosario. At a 299, you've been having a nice season. That goes to Joe Ivers and the Twins. Should be off the uh, IL after the All Star break, which will be good for my fantasy team. Aaron Judge reveals a nice quad relic, Rick Porcello, at a 25 for the Red Sox. Kale. And the last autograph here is Gene Segura, 128 out of 299. David Bruins with the M's. Two thousand nineteen Topps Museum Collection Baseball. Almost there, ladies and gentlemen. So after this, we'll go through some orders. We'll go through some orders, and then we'll uh, see what we're going to get into next. Is there anything sold out on the site? JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. Castillo up now. I'm on the National League in this, folks. Slight dogs at plus 107. Otani to 50. Not available to play in this one. We are joined by the two managers who are through their pitchers. Strasburg, parallel. These players all straight and everybody in the ballgame as best they can. Uh, Chris Bryant to 99, 13 out of 99. And guys, we hear that you've both been a part of a pretty incredible program. The MasterCard's growing that reminds all of us to make some time to catch all up. All right, and the four hits here. we got Trevor Story. Uh, that, that's a nice patch. 5 out of 25. Colton Wong. That's for the Cardinals. Chris with the Redbirds. Behind Jeter is Quad Relic for the Padres. Will Myers, 12 out of 99. A couple of pieces of his lumber, too. That goes to Joey Fisher. Behind Don Mattingly is an Oakland A. That's Sean Manea, 236 out of 299. Didn't we get a Sean Manea out of 2018 music? Matthew Hedges with the A's. 
And then behind the Clemente canvas reproduction is a dual relic and autograph, Luke Voigt, 284 out of 299. Nice Luke Voigt. All right. I feel like Luke Voigt is the uh, is the sound E Honda makes in Street Fighter 2, ladies and gentlemen. In case you're wondering. When he like rocket propels across the screen, he says Luke Voigt. Use this blank card right here. We've got cool Whit Merrifield. Kansas City Royals. That'll go to Chris Miller. Auto save what? That goes to the Royals, Chris Miller. I can talk about whatever I want, auto save. There's Reese Hoskins. That's what he says. E Honda says Luke Voigt. When he rockets across the screen. Nice Reese Hoskins, one of the nicest autographs in the hobby, goes to John G. Rookie auto, Reese Hoskins. Oh, yeah. It's 2018. All right, and the autograph baseball. Good luck. All right, a quick round of who am I, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> uh, the, the theories are put to rest already, Gilo. They've measured the baseball. Although I do have to admit, I, I, I think they haven't measured every single baseball ever in use. But of the sample size they use, it's not that much different. All right, who am I? Oh, that's that's too easy. I can't show you. That's too easy. Who am I? I am 72 years old, a retired baseball player, obviously, a right-hander from Refugio, Texas. That's where I was born, Refugio, Texas. Played for four teams my entire career, a world champion, an eight-time All-Star, Two-time NL ERA leader. I was never an AL ERA. I played in both leagues. Huh. Eleven-time strikeout leader. Part of every team I've played for, I'm part of their Hall, hall of Fame, except for the first team I played for. I don't think he was particularly good with this first team. Part of the MLB All Century team. Uh, first ballot Hall of Fame with 98.8 percent of the vote. A career 319 ERA, 324 wins in my career, 5,714 strikeouts, seven career no hitters. Those are both MLB records. Patrick Kay's got it. Rex, don't look. It is no, actually, I got Rex one of these already, so. Rex, look. You got Nolan Ryan, autographed baseball. No inscription, Nolan? No, I guess not. Should we pop this baby open? Cut it in half? So this is a baseball I stole two years ago, or took, gifted two years ago by, by the Rockies. Is the stitching different? Some seed of I see a I see Hugo. 
I don't know. It does look a little low, right? There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Stay tuned to jazbeescasebreaks.com. All summer long, we'll be we'll be uh, getting down, getting to the bottom of this baseball mystery. So stay tuned with us all summer long. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you next time. Jaspiescasebreaks.com. Oh, the Nolan Ryan. Where does it go? Who did he play for the longest? He had to have played with the. I actually don't know who he played for the longest. Let's go to baseballreference.com. Right, this has to go to some team, right? Nolan Ryan. Baseballreference.com says he played. He played nine seasons with the Houston Astros. There you go. It'll go to the Astros. That'll be for Mark Matheson. There you go, Mark. Angels for eight seasons, Mets for five seasons, Rangers for five seasons. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's a great 15-box All-Star Baseball Mixer uh, on All-Star Game Day. So thanks for joining us. Thanks for breaking with us. We'll see you next time on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Bye-bye.